Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Spesh, and this is going to be a quick and easy guide to the Firebase Z Easter egg that was just solved earlier today. If you guys want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and join the Tiki team. We are currently 140 members strong, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and let's get right into it. So, like any other Easter egg in Call of Duty history, you're going to need to turn on the power. And to do that, you're going to need to turn on all three ether reactors around the map. If you do not already know how to do that, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. For this Easter egg, you're also going to need the Ray K Wonder Weapon. So, I'll also leave a link for that down below. There are three different ways to get the Ray K. You can either get it out of the box, you can craft it using the free method, or you can do the trials. Whatever one tickles your pickle, go ahead and use that one. Um, but I would recommend just starting the up or starting the build process just so that it's kind of you're you're on your way there in case you don't get lucky out of the box or out of your trials. Now, after you go ahead and turn on the power and build the pack punch, you are going to want to run back to the village and talk to Ravenaugh. After you talk to Ravenaugh, you're going to have to run all the way back to the fire base, run over past the OPC, down into Mission Command, and you are going to run downstairs right to this window here. Normally, the shutters are shut, but now that we're at this part, you're going to go talk to Dr. Peck in this window. He's going to be kind of mean to you, like a jerk. You're going to want to run back to the village after that because basically Dr. Peck's going to not tell you what you want to know. So you're going to run back to the village. You're going to talk to Ravenaugh one more time and he has a plan. You guys are going to craft a truth serum. And to do that, you're going to need this key card that Ravenaugh gives you here. So go ahead and pick it up right out of that and you're going to need to go to three lockers around the map. The first is going to be right here inside of the spawn, just across from where Ravenaugh is. You're going to go ahead and just swipe your card, grab the serum out of there, and you're good to go to the next one. The next one is going to be back at the firebase in engineering. You're just going to want to run through this little bottom part here. This is the locker right here. You're going to need to open it up and grab the serum out of that one. And your last locker is going to be up in the colonel's office. You're going to want to run over to where Juggernaug and that other ether reactor is. Go upstairs around the corner. This room is like blatant that there's something in here. So you're going to go ahead, open up that locker, and grab the last part of the serum. Now, after you grab that last part of the serum, you're going to want to go over by the data center, and this is where the barracks are. Now, you're going to run over to this medical tent here. You're going to look on this table, and you're going to see this big old machine. I don't remember exactly what this machine was called in, like, my biology or, or chemistry class, but all I know is you put all three of the tubes, the test tubes and the serums, inside of this machine here, and then you start it. Now, it's going to run for about 30-ish seconds, and as when you get to about 20 to 25 seconds, a bunch of hellhounds are going to spawn in. Now, don't worry about this. This is not a time trial, so run out of the room. Make sure that you're safe. Make sure that everything is taken care of. Kill the hellhounds, and then run back in there. At this point, you'll be able to create the air raider. So you're going to grab the serums and the big machine off of the table, and you're going to run back over by the OPC, and the OPC is the big old dome thing. It's going to play a big part later in the Easter egg. Now run onto this roof right here, and in the back you'll see an AC unit. Go ahead and put the aerator serum thingy on top of it, and then make sure, so just hold your interact button, and um, basically what's going to happen is the serum is going to become a gaseous form, and it's going to go inside of the office that Dr. Peck is in. So now you're going to need to go down once more and go talk to Dr. Peck, and he's going to be a little loopy. He's going to have started hallucinating because of the truth serum but once he does his little dance and does everything else he needs to do he is going to tell you a few interesting things he tells you that to get Max's back you are going to need her ID code and then along with her ID code you're also going to need two activation codes that is going to help you open up and power the the OPC now there are three people that know these codes and that is Brahms Zahil and Sokolov there's just one small problem with these three folks they're dead. Lucky for us, Omega has been working on a machine where they can capture the essence of people transformed by the Dark Aether so they can access their memories. Now, to get one of those machines, you're going to need to run over to the data center. And I don't know if when you guys were younger, or maybe even now, you played Pokemon, but that's exactly what this is. You gotta catch them all. So now you're going to want to run up into the data center, and right next to the speed coal machine, you're going to see this little computer-like thingy. This is going to be the memory recovery device and you're going to grab one of these little tiny essence traps that are inside of the machine now again these work pretty much exactly like a pokeball you throw them on the ground and it captures the zombie and it either spits it back out or it completely captures it and just like in pokemon you're going to need to get the health on the zombie lower but we don't care about regular zombies we care about mimics now, there's been a lot of miscommunication how this step works um i think that we've kind of figured it out at this point but 
you can't use just any mimic. The way to know which mimic you need to use is that it is going to basically spawn in, in random areas, a bunch of items. A bunch of items on the ground that look like you could pick them up, but they're, they're, they're mimics. Now, this only happens about once per round, so you need to make sure that you take advantage of it when you can. Again, you cannot use a regular mimic for this step. So basically what you're going to want to do is run around the map until you find like a pile of weapons in an area. Like maybe you see a chopper gunner, a bow, maybe some salvage. When you run into that area, a mimic should spawn. When it does, you need to get its health real low and capture it. As you can see in my game, I will have captured Zaheel, Sokolov, and Brahms after all this. Those are the three that you're looking for. So basically you're going to need to get the mimic's health low, capture it, and then run it back over to the data center and plug its essence into the machine. If you got it right, you're going to get an audio cue from Weaver that says, that's right, now let's go find the other one. Now make sure you grab another one of these essence trapper pokeball thingies, and you'll probably at this point have to progress to the next round and then go back and look for another one. Now this step can be kind of tricky, so just make sure you're looking around for all these items laying on the ground, and if you can find them, then you're golden. If not, you may have to progress to the next round, as well as if you kill the Mimic on accident, you will probably have to progress to the next round. So once you get all three of these fellas' memories inside of the machine, they're going to tell you the three different codes you need. You're going to grab a floppy disk out of the machine, and you're going to take it back over to the planning room. Inside of the planning room, there is going to be this machine that has this brain on it. You're going to go ahead and pop the floppy disk inside of that machine. By doing so, it is going to power up the OPC and open the door right on the front. Run up in there as the OPC is powering up. You're going to see the portal inside and honestly take a good look at it. It looks pretty cool. This is like one of the cooler graphics I have ever seen Treyarch put into a game. Once you do that, Weaver's going to tell you that you need to go down and talk to Peck once more. So you're going to want to run downstairs and talk to Peck again. And he's still going to be all weird and loopy or so it seems. He's going to tell you that you need to overload the ether reactors to basically continue the power source. And to do that, you're going to need the ether meter to find these three ether canisters hidden around the map. Now, the ether meter is locked in a cabinet right next to Peck, so go ahead and just hang out there uh, while he does his little talking thing, and then Ravenaugh is going to tell you the code. You don't need to actually type in the code, just you just have to have him say it, and then you can open up the cabinet. So you're going to need two other parts for this step, one of them being the Ray K Wonder Weapon, and then as well, you're also going to need a shovel. That shovel can be found right over here in the Scorched Defense area inside of this hut. Once you grab that, you are good to go, and you're going to need to go find three different canisters to dig up. Now, the canister that I did first in my game, I believe you can do these in any order, but this is just the order that I went in, is I went to Jungle Defense, and then you're going to have to listen to your ether meter, and it is going to start beeping, and then you're going to find a little dig spot. Now, when you find that dig spot in Jungle Defense, you're going to... So make sure when you go into this one that you're kind of geared, because this one can be kind of tricky. Basically, this is going to start a lockdown sequence. Now, this lockdown sequence lasts for about two minutes. You're going to be inside this big old bubble fighting a bunch of different zombies, manglers, mimics, and hellhounds. So just make sure that you have the means to survive in there. It's not too hard. It just gets kind of cramped sometimes. Once you're done with that, pick up the ether canister, and then you're going to want to head back by the planning offices. Now, again, just listen to your ether meter, and it's going to start beeping, and it'll kind of show you what area you need to dig in. Now, when you dig this one up, make sure you don't grab it right away because it might not be the right one. Basically, the way this works is there is a bunch of mimics hiding as these ether canisters. You need to find the ether canister that is, it has pure white smoke and no black smoke inside. There's going to be canisters littered all around this area. So basically, what you have to do is you have to go around looking in each canister. If you see black smoke, that ain't the one, chief. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you do get this right because if you don't, you're going to have to A, progress to the next round, and B, a ton of mimics are going to spawn in. It's a pain in the butt. So basically, just run around this area. You can look up in the planning office, down in engineering, uh, kind of around the OPC. There's going to be a ton of canisters that spawn. Eventually, you will find the right one, but make sure it is the right one before you grab it. I can't stress that enough. Once you have that one, you have two of three canisters done, and the last one that you're going to need to go get is over here by the barracks. It's going to be in this corner here. You're going to dig exactly where I dig. Now, make sure you keep your eye on this one because this one's speedy. It's going to run away from you. It's scared. You're scary. This is the part that you're going to need the Ray K Wonder Weapon for. When you have the Ray K Wonder Weapon out, make sure you switch it to the alternate ammo type, the one that's kind of like a grenade, the one that does the swirly whoop-de-whoop -whoop thing. I don't really know what it's called, but you're going to need it on that one. 
And basically what's gonna happen is the canister is gonna zip around this area and stop in certain parts. You're gonna need to basically sneak up on it. If you see it in one of the barracks, do not go into the barracks. Try and shoot it from outside the door. But what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to shoot the swirly whoop de whoop thingy on top of the canister and that's gonna slow it down long enough for you to run in and grab it. You need to make sure you grab the canister while it is in the swoop de whirly whirly thingy mabobber. If you do spook it, if you do get too close to it and it runs off, not a problem. Just go and see where it went next. Try and keep your eye on it the best you can. This step is honestly pretty easy in the end. Now, once you have all three canisters, you're going to want to go around to all three ether reactors and use it on them. That's basically going to overload the reactors and then you're moving on to the next step. Yeah, you'll see in my game here that I just walk up, put the canister in, and move on to the next one. Super simple step, nothing too fancy here. Now you're going to run back to the OPC, only to find that the whole thing shut down. Peck tricked us. So you're going to run back downstairs to Peck and tell him, tell him that he's a jerk. And he's basically going to be like, F you, I don't care. Ha ha ha, I transferred all my data. Ha ha ha. At this point, the members of Requiem, Weaver, and all of them are going to come up with an idea. They have a satellite up in space that they can use to hopefully reactivate the OPC and start it back up if they use the satellite on the map. But to do that, they're going to need a little bit of help from you. So you're going to want to run back upstairs into the planning office. Now, if you are in a co-op game, just have someone hold a zombie while you do this. This part is pretty easy. You're going to want to run up into the planning office. You're going to want to run to this computer right here. Basically, this computer is going to show you like an overhead view of the world and a bunch of different satellites. There's going to be like five or six different satellites. You're going to want to find the one that has a question mark down in the corner. As you can see in my game, I scroll past like a Russian flag one, I think an American flag one. Eventually, I find one that's just a question mark. That's the one you need. Once you do that, simply press X on that question mark and it's then you're going to want to walk outside and look up at the satellite. You just reposition this satellite dish to be facing the satellite from outer space. Now this part's going to be super cool. They're going to fire a big old laser down and, and basically it is going to repower up the OPC so you guys can get Samantha out. Now this is going to be like a kind of little mini cutscene here. Basically you're going to watch it power back up the OPC. You're going to want to run inside the OPC and hit the computer on the right hand side. And this is where we start our end cutscene. Samantha is going to come out of the portal and oh my god. She has Nikolai's goggle. She has Takeo's sword. She has Dr. Monty's scarf. There is so much to dissect here, but that's going to be for another video. So don't forget to subscribe because that is going to be a banger of a video. Once you, got, once you extract Samantha out of the Dark Aether, you're going to head back to the spawn area, and Ravenal is going to be there to pick you up, but there's a problem. Orda, the big elder god from D-Machine, is there, and he's pissed. This is where the boss fight happens, is right here. Now make sure you don't get too close to Orda, because he'll smash you and you'll die. Now you need to not panic during this boss fight. It's actually incredibly easy. In fact, I used a cruise missile during mine that took out like half of Orda's health. It is so simple. But you need to watch out for Mimics, Manglers, and Zombies because they are going to be your biggest enemy. So make sure you have all of that under control and kill them off. If you do happen to go down in this area, you have the Der Wonderfist. You can get all your perks. You have the Armor Station so you can upgrade your armor. And you have an upgrade bench if you need to craft some more monkey bombs or you need maybe you didn't buy a cruise missile earlier. There, basically everything you need is right here. So don't panic. Use your Ray K on the boss. If you have like a sniper, then you're good to go. The snipers will kick its butt. And eventually you will take out order. You see the health bar at the top. So pretty easy to figure out. And once you do that, you will have officially beaten the Firebase Z Easter Egg. You are going to take off. You're going to see a little bit of an ending cutscene here between Ravana and Sam. And again, Sam is just looking insane with her purple eyes and all the different things from the old guys in the game. It's absolutely nuts. This Easter egg was so freaking good. So that is gonna do it guys. That is the entire guide for the Firebase Z Easter egg. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel and please leave it a like. Join the Tiki team. We're going up from here. Everything is gonna be kosher. We're gonna be smooth sailing. Firebase Z, we're just getting started with all this content. So like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in one of these videos here on the screen. I don't know, you'll find it, click on it. You're gonna like it, I promise, or at least YouTube does. It says best for viewer. So with that being said, guys, I hope this video made your day better. I hope that it helps you beat the Easter egg, and I'll see you very, very soon.